Okay, so for this, I seem to have found this really annoying bug. It stopped me from making uh, several filters that I've been wanting to make. Um, and I can't quite figure out, or I couldn't quite, quite figure out why it happened. I actually still don't know why it happens. But you can see around his mouth and around his eyes, uh, the UV for the extracted face uh, texture doesn't quite line up. So then you look super creepy because you have like this weird layer of shadow around your eyes. And you're like, oh, well, maybe, uh, you know, that could be fixed if you get rid of the holes that the face mesh makes for your for your eyes and your mouth. So, okay, I'll just get rid of those holes. And there you go. Now you have a whole other kind of creepy. And uh, it's not specific to this one default person that comes with uh, Spark AR. So here we have several other default people who also look equally creepy with their eyes and mouths all messed up. It's like they you know, uh, cut their own faces off and are wearing it. Um, so how do we fix this? Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll just talk about how to create the problem in the first place, which is really kind of like the default behavior in Spark AR. We can go ahead and discard this. Um, so first thing I want to do is create a face mesh. And here it is, you have a face mesh. It's awesome. Somebody's wearing a checkerboard face. Uh, and then you want to extract. So with the face tracker that comes along with the face mesh, you want to extract the texture out. And it always names it face tracker zero texture, uncreatively. Um, and you want to make a material. So let's make a material. Uh, face material. Ta-da. Uh, and then you're going to apply that face material to the face mesh and you're going to get this kind of creepy Phantom of the Opera situation. Now, um, you want the face material to actually use the texture that was extracted. And here you go. Ta-da! Uh, and we're using a standard shader so there's, you know, it makes it, it shades it, it makes it look like shadowed instead of flat because there's lighting in a situation if you change the lighting then maybe it would get darker or brighter um but we we don't want any of that that's extra calculation and uh we want to make it look normal so go back to the face mesh or the face material and we change it to flat but here we go you still have this weirdness so i actually tried to record this video to re to report this bug to uh the team over at spark and uh, in the recording, I tried choosing different um, different shader types. And I chose retouching, which makes your face look super smooth. And, uh, and then I tried to change it back. And this is what fixes it, weirdly. So I change it back to flat. And of course, uh, it doesn't have a texture applied now. So I choose the face again. And ta-da, it works. No idea why. But in case you come across this same bug, which has been keeping me from making a filter for some friends of mine for a couple of weeks now, uh, and I've been waiting to hear a response about it, then this is the answer. And why that works, I have no idea. Hopefully they fix it in the future. 